today I thought I'd show you my 30-year-old uh, computer. This is actually the computer I bought about 30 years ago. Uh, used heavily for probably about five years. Uh, it's the Commodore Amiga 2000, based in 88. And, uh, and I had an Amiga 500 at the time, and uh, I managed to uh, fix that one up and sell it, and uh, saved up for this and bought it for, I think, about 14 14 or $1,600 through an educational purchase program. At that time, it would have just had these two floppy drives, and uh, and then uh, I added a hard drive. This is the Seagate ST296N, an 84 meg hard drive, which was typical for a computer to have over the time. But let's see if uh, this thing, I haven't had it open in 10 years. Uh, I booted it uh, maybe last year. Let's see how it's working. So this is, like, this is what it was like to start up this machine uh, back in the day. So you can hear the hard drive spinning, that's a good sign. It doesn't always happen. It's like coming unparked or something. I don't remember it taking so long back then, but I guess you probably didn't boot it more than once or twice a day from the cold. Well, there we go. Start now. Um, I'm showing you this because uh, it's also a particularly unusual Amiga 2000. I think for the time that I had it, this was the uh, best, one of the best configurations you could have. Uh, when I got out of school, I had, in the college, I got this and I got a real job and was making some real money and put some of it into this and I'll show you at least what it says it can do. So now I'm going to move the camera over a little so you, to, to show you the screen. We're going to start up a tool. The one that I'm looking for is called uh, Sysinfo. Gets under utilities. Yeah, that that all that noise with the hard drive and stuff—that's actually the way it sounded back then too. It's not, there's nothing wrong with it. It's exactly what, the way I, I remember it sounding when I was using the machine, you know, circa 30 years ago. There's the program I'm looking for, Sysinfo, and I'm going to tell it to show me the speed of this machine. So in the lower left there, it lists out a bunch of models that the author of this program, Sysinfo, had tested. And it shows that, so this, this machine, in, when I bought it, is an Amiga 2000, the model B2000, uh, Rev 6.2. And you can see this machine's 25.82 times faster than a B2000 with extra RAM. And the only machine it's known to be slower than is the Progressive Peripherals Mercury 68040 machine, where it says this is not about 89% the speed of that machine which uh, that's a card that came out way after this machine. So um, I'm going to go. So the, the, the reason why this machine is so fast is because what it's got in it is a pretty rare card. Um, it's the RCS Management Fusion 40. This card alone cost about $1,400. Uh, I would say circa 1991 when it was released. And I bought it. Uh, I bought it then and put it in here. The, this particular card, you can see here, uh, it's a little fuzzy. It basically says it's serial number 1025. So I think it's one of the first 1025 uh, cards in the world that provided that put a 68040 in the Amiga and was the first card available that allowed you to do so. So I'm going to shut the machine down and, uh, and show you a little bit of the inside. So that's the way it sounded every time you shut it down. The Amiga uh, cover, it has just uh, five screws. I've removed those already. Just unplugging the door there. So this machine, the two floppy drives, the hard drive down there. Uh, let's see, still start from the left. So this machine has uh, some uh, PC slots because the Amiga had a product called the bridge board that could bridge from the Amiga Zorro slots over to the PC AT and XT slots. So this is a PC XT, I think, zero card. Um, not in use right now because the two sides aren't bridged. This is an Amiga uh, 2091 hard drive controller. 
I think I only have it in here because I had a Macintosh emulator called AMAX2, and that was a, a SCSI controller that was compatible with it, so I could put Mac hard drives uh, plugged in off the back. Then over here we've got a card called the ICD Add SCSI, uh, kind of a lower end, not too expensive uh, SCSI controller, and that's the one that I'm using. And the reason why we're using that is the star of the show over here. This is the RCS Management Fusion 40. The, uh, 68040 in a PGA package uh, with a heat sink on top uh, and uh, eight SIM cards over here. I think that's giving us about um, eight, eight, uh, eight megabytes more memory. And this card uh, combined with the ICD Ad SCSI is really fast because the Ad SCSI doesn't have its own processor. It relies on the CPU of the main machine, which is usually a 68000, which is way down there, but now it's a 68040, so the combination of those two made hard disk access really fast. The other thing that this machine has over here and why the video looks pretty good like when we're on the VGA is it's got a what's, what was called a flicker fixer. It's got a display enhancer card that basically deinterlaces the Amiga uh, display and redisplays it at something like twice the twice the rate or something so and has a modern VGA output so that's why it looks the way that it does there. Anyway, so just a glimpse of you know, like I, what I said was, uh, this would have been about the, fa the fastest Amiga that you could have, uh, circa 1991, and, uh, and a machine that I used for some school projects in computer sciences, and then left about the time I switched over to running Coherent and then Linux on, uh, on PCs. But one of my favorites, and there it is.